Have you ever been in a situation where you needed money to do something really important but you couldn't because you didn't have the money to do it and nobody was willing to help you with the money to do it? As a medical student, you need money for a lot of things. These expenses can both be planned and unplanned, such as photocopying lecture notes or materials, buying food or food items from the market, paying membership dues to student organizations or departmental or faculty dues, buying data subscriptions or airtime to enable you to stay connected to the internet or call friends and loved ones, or buying clothes, textbooks, and lots more. Sometimes the pocket money received from home might not be enough to cover for all these expenses, even when spent wisely, and thus the students might need to find ways to make some extra money while in school rather than relying solely on the pocket money sent in by their parents or sponsors. This extra income will help the student to cover for his or her expenses and on top of that, it will help the student feel independent in some ways. Though medical school is hard and you don't want to distract yourself from your studies, there are a few businesses that you can do to make some extra money while still focusing on your studies. Hello there, this is MedZone TV, home to medical school excellence. MedZone TV is an online medical community that presents you with series of web-packed activities ranging from captivating stories, top-notch medical content, fascinating videos, quizzes, monthly challenges, and a lot more you can't afford to miss. In today's video, I will be telling you about businesses that you can start on the side while still focusing on your studies. Yes, you heard me right. Today, I will be sharing with you seven side hustles you can start while in medical school. Please sit back, relax, and listen. The first side hustle you can start as a medical student is affiliate marketing. For some time now, affiliate marketing have been trending both on and off the internet. So I'm quite sure that you might have heard about it somewhere. But in case you haven't heard about it, or you have but you still don't understand what the business is truly about, let me break down what affiliate marketing really is to you so that you can understand it. Affiliate marketing is simply a method of earning money by recommending and promoting somebody else's products and services. As an affiliate marketer, you are simply a middleman. You connect two people together, that is, the producer and the consumer. Yes, you connect the person looking to buy something with the person who sells it. Your service is to bring them together and for that, you get paid. For every sale that is made directly from your promotions or recommendations, you will receive a commission payment. How much you earn depends on the commission level you have agreed with the seller and how many products you sell. The more sales you make, the more you get paid in commissions. For example, let's say I create a digital product such as a past question and answer compilation in anatomy, physiology, and medical biochemistry, but I am too busy to market this digital product myself. What can I do? I can go on affiliate marketing platforms like Seller and upload my product there for affiliates to sell. I will also add a commission, say 20% of the price. That means if the past question compilation sells for 2,500 Naira, the affiliate who sells one of it gets a commission of 500 Naira, which is about 20% of the actual price of the book. The more copies the affiliate is able to sell, the more commission he or she gets and the more money he or she makes. This is what affiliate marketing is. The second side hustle you can start while in medical school is graphics designing. The truth is, every business needs a graphic designer, even small businesses on WhatsApp and Instagram just starting out. It doesn't matter whether they are selling data, clothes, shoes, perfumes, human hair or bags, they are going to need a graphic designer. A good graphic design will help a business to gain high visibility which in turn will lead to increased sales. You don't need to be exceptionally gifted or creative for you to be a graphic designer. You don't need to own a laptop for you to begin graphic designing. These days, there are a lot of free graphic designing mobile applications such as Pixel Lab, Adobe Express and Canva that allows you to design with your phone. So with just your smartphone, data subscription to access the internet and adequate motivation and willingness to learn, you can start your graphic designing career. All you have to do is go to Google Play Store or Apple Store to download the free graphic designing mobile app on your phone and begin learning how to create amazing graphics for businesses and individuals. A lot of these apps are user friendly and the UI is so perfect that anyone can easily create beautiful graphics on these apps. 
Also, you can register for free or paid graphics designing classes online or watch YouTube videos on how to make smartphone graphic designs for absolute beginners. As a graphic designer, you can easily create flyers, logos, book covers, infographics and many other designs for businesses and individuals and get paid for your services. You can charge as high as 5,000 Neva or 7,000 Neva depending on the quality of your designs and how skilled you are. You can make designs for your own personal brand and not need to pay anybody for their services. As a graphic designer, you can become self-employed and work as a freelancer. Being a freelance graphic designer can help you achieve more creative freedom and enjoy the convenience of working when and where you want. The third side hustle that you can start while in medical school is social media management. Social media management can be a great side hustle especially if you enjoy spending time on social media and if you have a talent for creating engaging content. You can decide to start up your own personal brand and build your brand's presence on social media and become a social media influencer or work with businesses or individuals to increase their followers and drive engagement to their social media pages. Social media management cuts across all social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, TikTok, and even YouTube. As a social media manager, you'll be responsible for developing strategies to increase followers, creating and overseeing advertisement campaigns, producing content as well as analyzing the kind of content that does well with an audience and the kind that doesn't. The first step to getting started as a social media manager is to determine which social media platform you enjoy using the most and what type of businesses or individuals you would like to work with. For example, if you enjoy using WhatsApp the most, you may decide to open a WhatsApp TV just like Medzoom TV and grow your following on WhatsApp by publishing consistently on the particular niche you have chosen and by running adverts on other WhatsApp TVs as well as conducting referral contests when you have gotten a large enough audience. Over time after you have established trust and credibility with your followers, people will begin to approach you to pay you so that they can place their business adverts on your social media page. Besides running adverts for business owners and brands on your social media platform, you could decide to participate in affiliate marketing or sell your own digital products and services. Social media management requires dedication and consistency to yield results. But if you build a strong reputation online and deliver quality work, you can generate a steady stream of income through this particular side hustle. Moving on, another side hustle that you can start as a medical student while in medical school is a tutoring business. Starting a tutorial as a side hustle is a great way for medical students to earn extra money because they get to help people with topics they are finding very difficult while still learning in the process. Starting a tutoring business gives you a way to use your wealth of medical knowledge, experience and skills to provide one-on-one -on -one help to students finding the course very difficult. You can decide to offer tutoring services in subjects such as anatomy, physiology, medical biochemistry and pharmacology to younger students who are having a hard time understanding certain topics or concepts in the course. You can offer tutoring on the weekend or after school or even online depending on your academic schedule. To begin a tutoring business, you have to decide which subject you want to teach, how much you should charge for your services, and then brush up your knowledge on the subjects you have chosen to teach. Once you have decided which subject you want to teach and how much you should charge per section for your services, then you can begin spreading the word and letting people know that you are offering tutoring services. Please note that it is always better to offer tutoring services in courses or topics that a lot of people find very difficult. For example, a lot of medical students find neural anatomy and excitable tissues very difficult to understand. So if you have an excellent knowledge in either of these courses, you can decide to take advantage of the situation and start a tutoring business in these courses. A lot of students will be willing to pay you to learn these courses, especially if they have heard or they know that you are really good in these courses. If you are still watching this video at this point and probably finding it helpful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Moving on, the next side hustle you can start while in medical school to earn some extra money is cash for transfer, popularly known as POS business. Please note that you don't need to own a POS machine to start this business. This particular business is very lucrative and does not require a lot of stress to begin. All you just need to begin is a little startup capital like 10 to 20,000 Naira and a bank account that allows you to send and receive money with alert notification. 
you don't need to get a shop or a kiosk or know too many people to run this kind of business all you have to do is announce on your class whatsapp group chat or hosted group chat if you want to do this business on a larger scale that you have cash for transfer or that you offer POS services what cash for transfer really means is that you have fiscal cash available and you are willing to exchange it with people who are willing to transfer the exact worth of the money they are looking to get and an additional commission or fee for your service of providing them with the money. You are basically providing convenience to your classmates and hostelers by saving them from the stress of going to the bank and the long queue of people that they would meet at the ATM. The truth is, you don't have to do a lot of marketing to make money from this type of business. All you have to do is post on your class or hosted WhatsApp group chat once or twice daily that you have cash for transfer and that you charge 50 naira or 100 naira for 1000 naira and whoever needs fiscal cash to perform a transaction will find their way to you and patronize your services. On an average, you can make as much as 700 naira to 1500 naira daily depending on your startup capital and the number of customers that patronize your services. Because of the nature of this business which involves handling cash, it can attract robbers and criminals and thus you need to be very security cautious and take precautions with how you move and hold money. Moving on, another side hustle medical students can start while in medical school is mini importation. Mini importation is about importing goods from China and other countries at a very cheap price and then reselling it for more than times two or times three the amount you bought it. A lot of big business owners do it but this time you'll be doing it on a smaller scale. You need like 50 to 100,000 naira do to start up this business because you'll be buying products mostly in bulk. You can import literally anything with mini importation such as clothes, bags, shoes, electronic gadgets, perfume, jewelries, human hair and lots more and resell it in Nigeria. For someone with very little capital and one who is still in medical school, you must import something that your capital can purchase and something that will not distract you so much from your studies. There are a lot of sites where many importers get their goods from at very cheap prices such as 1688, Alibaba, AliExpress, Amazon and lots more. What you must do is look out for one that is best for the products you are looking to sell and register with and begin your purchase. A lot of your friends and cosmates that sell clothes, bags, perfumes and human hair on their WhatsApp status or Instagram and Facebook pages are mini importers. Yes, most of them import their products directly from China and other countries at very cheap prices to sell to you and make profits. Mini importation is a profitable business you can start while in medical school as a side hustle and earn some extra cash while still focusing on your studies. Moving on, another side hustle that you can start while in medical school to earn some extra cash is a mini cyber cafe. Your services can include online registration for scholarship and bursaries, payment of school fees and accommodation, transcript and certificate collection, and photocopying and printing of materials. You don't need to own a shop to start a mini cyber cafe. Just like the cash for transfer business I spoke about earlier, all you need to start is just your smartphone and an internet connection. The process of registration or payment of school fees and accommodation is something every student passes through. Why some students may be ignorant of the process involved and may need a guide to help them through. Others may understand the process but would still love to avoid the stress of registering by themselves. You can be that individual or that guide offering to assist with the process of registration at a particular fee or token. You can guide these students who are ignorant of the registration process or who would love to do away with the stress of registering by themselves, fast track their registration process. You can also help students who have graduated or students who require their academic transcript but are having a hard time getting it with their transcript and certificate collection process. In addition to all of these services that I have mentioned, you can also help students apply for educational scholarships and bursary schemes for a fee or start a photocopying and printing business in the hostel if you already have a printer and a laptop. And that's all for this video. Remember that while making money is important, your top priority is your education. Always make sure that you balance any side hustle you choose with your academics. With the right commitment, planning, execution and consistency, these side hustles can provide you with the financial security you need and help you become successful even beyond medical school. Thank you for watching and staying with us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps the channel grow. Also, 
Don't forget to share this video with your friends and colleagues as I'm quite sure that there are people in your cycle that will find the information contained in this video valuable.